She is a living saint here on earth. She has totally given her life to God and shown through her words and her actions and her deeds of how we all need to live our lives for others. And we had six kids. And Gabrielle, our oldest, and Sebastian's the youngest. They're born on the same day. I always said to God, um, if ever you call one of them, just let it be at the best time. Jeannie had decided that she wanted to, to spend quality time with each of her children. And one of the things that she loved most was riding her bike with Gabriel. And a week before the accident, I had just said to God, you know, I'm in a good spot in my life. What do you want me to do next? And so one morning, they were traveling east on Douglas, and as they approached town east, and they always wore helmets and had lights on their bikes, but my understanding is that someone fell asleep at the wheel behind them. Gabrielle was killed in the accident. Jean became a quadriplegic. Gabrielle was living life beautifully and totally for God. When I woke up from the accident and realized that Gabrielle was gone and this was the way I was going to be, then I had to be peaceful with the whole thing. Jean's injury is at C3, 4, and 5, and she's paralyzed from the shoulders down. And so I have the use of my head, and I can, I can still dance. Jean went through an extensive rehabilitation program. It was there she asked if there was some way she could draw. And they said, oh yeah, we can figure that out. So they got a dowel rod and taped a pencil with masking tape to it and a little plastic mouthpiece. And I remember drawing this little violet and it worked beautifully. So I thought, yes, God has given me a creative outlet. CPRF helps countless people overcome disabilities by helping to provide adaptive devices and equipment. Seating Systems is just one of these services. Jean's life changed dramatically in the blink of an eye. Her story could just as easily have been any one of us, and CPRF would be there to help. So the chair is like my second skin, and it's such a great machine. They call it a sip and puff because it's all done with your air velocity. So to go forward and backward, you puff into it. So like that. When I go to the Carney Center to have my chair worked on, the first person that I come in contact is Sherry. And she is so much fun and maneuvers around that office like nobody's business. Any problem that you have, they really get it figured out. And so it's just, Every time I've gone up there has been a great outcome. Or they're really happy to stay until they get the problem fixed. And, um, you know, they do it quickly. The CPRF Peter John Lux Award recognizes up to three individuals each year with $1,000. Jean was one of the 2014 recipients and gave her $1,000 award to another 2014 PJL recipient. I had been listening to Becky talk about wanting a van. She was 
announcing that she was giving her award away, and I don't know why I was so surprised, because that's so Jeannie. Jeannie would do that. It was just the little bit of a jump start for others to give. And so there were quite a few donors after that. I think that we need to look at each, each day, each moment of our lives as a gift from God and appreciate everything that He's given to us and think about how we can return all that He's done for us to others. Jean has indeed lived a triumphant life of faith and the accident has only strengthened that. I think that God isn't done with me yet. Yeah.